story mission continuation let's go act five holy moly um go here maybe Oh, yeah, 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 she's here. Hello. Man, we haven't seen these girls in a while. I see. Yes. I can feel the tension in the streams. I'm worried something bad is going to happen. There you are, Rover. Sorry. Remember to check your terminal signals and wear the Academy's protective suit correctly. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, I have experiments to run. Take care. Okay, that's just like a bug. The Academy has noted a concerning rise in tacit field activities. Oh. Please use caution when exiting the city. It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, but I think it's cute. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. Oh, yeah. Meeting with Jinchi. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we just came out of that. Yeah, 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 I remember. The Frax at us again? Ugh, oh, those jerks. Jian, the general. Jin Si, the magistrate. And Jue, Jinjo, sentinel. Is there any kind of connection between them? Connection? No idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. A storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the Crescent. The Norfall Barons, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the Blood Red Crescent that foretold destruction. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. Until the retroact rain began to fall. Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged, loyal souls fell to blood-soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshu Lin demanded all soldiers stand firm, no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshu Lin charged at the Overthrax with all his might, and he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard-won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, earning him a notorious reputation in Huan Long. Okay. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who guide us into the future. 
Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true. Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the magistrate one day. Not gonna lie. I understand your concern, Rover. Okay. Right. Madam Jinshi was only a teenager. Okay. And she was suddenly selected to be the magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madame Jinshi because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madame Jinsi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. Uh, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? They sent two overseers at once. Their scheme must be far more expansive than we thought. Though the Fraxidas do seem to know a lot about you. Their ideology and actions are too dangerous. And right now, the odds are in their favor. If we rush into a confrontation, it could lead us into their traps. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madame Jinshi? The Norfolk Barons? It's been a battlefield since ancient times. Rover, it's dangerous there. The Norfolk Barons is the front line in our defense against the Thrinodian. We must be careful about going there. Rover, since you were asking about this, did the Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. This flower, it's only a photo, and I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Hmm, we're still in the dark about Fraxida's plans, and the Norfolk Barrens is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now, but if we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower, it's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her. Wait, why did she blush? Did I miss something? Act 5. Great. Right. Jisha, Yang Yang, what brought you here? Hey, Grandma Lin, we're here for some stories today. And here's our new friend. Ta-da! We've got the ultimate badass here. The one who can crush TDs, cook up Echoes, knock Inferno Rider flat, and KO Phalian Beringle with a single punch. The legendary Rover. <laughs> so you are the famous rover. Oh, youngsters these days are really okay. something. Grandma Lin, since you're the flower expert, I got a favor to ask. Have you seen flowers like this one before? The brush is glitched out. So that's nice. I'm familiar with most of the flowers local to Jinjo, but this one... Oh... It doesn't match anything we have here. I don't think I've seen anything similar. Not even in the plant encyclopedias. Oh no. 
If not even a flower expert like you can recognize it, who else could help us? Oh, Chisha, I'm far from an expert. We've got a plant-type resonator here in Jinjo. Oh, Remember? I wonder what that is. She knows the plants much better than me. Oh, are you talking about that young lady? I always see her helping out at your store. Yes, she has been a great help. She knows a lot about everything plant-related, and she is such a sweet child. Her smiles always make me happy. She reminds me of the lovely star flowers. I'd call out to her, little star flower, it's dinner time. And she'd always answer with her brightest smile. Oh, how I wish she was my granddaughter. She's probably up in the back mountain doing some field research. I said I wanted a field in the back mountain to plant my flowers, and she offered to help right away. Go in that direction, and soon you'll see a waterfall. Thank you so much, Grandma Lynn. Oh, any time, dearie. Don't forget to visit my Penjing shop. I'll have treats ready for you. Okay, cool. Guess let's go for the waterfall for like the tenth time. Speeding up. So there's like ten people told us to go for this waterfall, I swear. <laughs> waterfall. This should be the shortcut to the back mountain. Once we cross the waterfall, we'll reach Mount Ping Ting. The flowers seem to be showing us the way. Let's follow it. Okay. Sure. That's it, you know, like any other question about like, the flowers and all that? Andres is gonna stay here. That's impressive. Man, still there. Oh my god. What am I doing? Hello. Are you lost? Do you need help? One second. Okay, cool. Oops, sorry. I should have introduced myself first. I know it's a polite thing to do in Huanlong. It is. It is a delight to make your acquaintance. I am Verena. My pressure to have the opportunity to meet with you today. <laughs> My apologies. 
I used to live in the New Federation, so I'm not very familiar with the etiquette here. Hi, Verena. I'm Tisha. This is Yang Yang, and she's Rover. Grandma Lin told us we should come find you. Oh, right. Grandma Lin talked about you. I left those flowers so she knows how to reach me. What seems to oh. be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with... We're looking for a special flower. Hmm, it's an unusual flower indeed. Pure black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can't rule out the possibility that it's been dyed. When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. And it's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's native to the New Federation, and Huanlong people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower. It's a single petaled flower with a similar stamen length. But the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle, while this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff. I learned a lot from that. I just completely blanked out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature. So I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it, too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone. We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now, do I automatically become one of them? Chithia, wait. What did you just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying, if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? Yeah, isn't that what we if said this with the rover? black flower is indeed their symbol, the black shorn members should immediately notice it on you. But to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower, given that if they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see. But how do we get our hands on one? Make a fake one. Um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability. If you just need something that looks similar. Come on, Verena. You can do it. Way. That's amazing. Seriously, it looks exactly like the flower in that picture. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's freaking amazing. Could you do that again? Please. I love it. Mm. I wonder if they're going to get baited by that or not. It's like, yeah, we go one, but like, well, if they're watching us at all times. Oh. What's up? Rover, have you noticed? We've been seeing these black petals for a while now. They're scattered all over the place. The streams have been disrupted. Someone has been following us. Rover, are you sure you want us to leave? It could be dangerous for you. Okay. Trisia and I will wear these black flowers and go look for members of the black shores in the city. Rover, please be careful. Ring us anytime when you need help. Oh, spelling. Huh. 
Okay, I still chatted them. Oh, I see. And guess what? Miss Farina just made another blade bloom for us. Now it comes in handy. Easy peasy. I've got this, Miss Farina. We should get you home now. Oh, uh, sure. One moment, please. Oh, I see. And guess what? Miss Farina just made another blade. Cool. The Fraxidus. What are they doing in a place like this? Damn that woman. Always getting in our way. And what are you doing oh, my here? Dear. Get lost. I'll have to take them down first. Wait, is it echoing just because like, it's her conscious while she's sleeping? They're coming after me. That's just a Yang Yang that like she's too weak. Want to leave me alone? I could, okay, I've already done the quest where I have to jump up the mountain. If I climb up to that point, I should be able to get behind that person. Better hide here for now. Crouch. Oh. It's her. Okay, that was cool. Wow. Hmm. Looking for me? I just saw it's her that changes her red hair. Uh, her hair red. You see. Oh, and she has those sparkle eyes. Oh my god. Some action right here. Why is she posing like that though? Nah. Okay. You're such a box full of surprises. So we're playing truth or dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? Sorry, but it's just so much fun to rile you up. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target after all. Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. Yeah, because of um, the flowers. This Blake Bloom is our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's what it says in the rules, at least. Our plans? Hmm. What is it again? Oh, to recruit as many talents as we can and save the world from its impending doom. So are you in? Yeah. Nah, -uh, I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going boom tomorrow, why not have fun while we can? To stop it, nothing for more power. Take down any prey without mercy and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. Are you stupid? My God. Oh, 
well, I mean, I'd love to live that way. But alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits, and we'll make you the most special seed among them all. My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to blossom into luscious fruits. Yeah, I really like her voice. I think this is the first VA that like hits. I'll get Not to gonna pick care. it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. You're just like what Civilization Simulation Sand Table Tethys has told us. I can feel such explosive potential within you. One day, what the fuck does you'll that mean? surely bear the most beautiful fruit imaginable. No need to be so on edge. I won't do anything strange to you, I think. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. I got rid of all types of pests that tried to get in your way. Ew, don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games. Wait, I didn't say if anything though. What? Think of laying their dirty fingers on you? <sighs> You're mine, and I don't like sharing. Hmm. Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Whoa, don't tell me you haven't noticed. Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden. You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Well, I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. Ooh. Huh. I've been in this position long enough. Huh? Do you think I'd entertain your inquiries if I didn't have a blade on my throat? Anyway, I'm not trying to get any answers from you, but I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. I can feel something oddly familiar about you. My name is Camellia. Amelia. That's a cool name. That's... I'm gonna cap. That's just a memorable name. <laughs> Try not to let me catch you so easily next time. And she's gone. Hm. That was fast. What was she like still glaring though? Grover, what took you so long to answer? Did something happen? Is that a friend or foe? Are you hurt? Phew, at least you're safe. Shizia noticed a guy acting suspicious. I think she's keeping an eye on him. Sure. We are in the shopping district. See you then. Goodbye. Huh? Should there cats? I thought there was like some... Uh... Birds. Some chicken. Or foul, I guess, right? Ooh, Alto. Rover, there you are. We walked the streets, wearing the Blake Bloom like you said. Talked to various people, but I didn't hear anything useful. Shizia did say she found someone suspicious. Look, it's him. Oh no, there's some goofy oh, music. Timing. This guy's been sniffing around here for a while now. He keeps trying to talk to the elderly and minors. I've been keeping an eye on him. And I saw a little girl with him. She kept turning her head and looking around, but now she's nowhere to be found. This is super fishy. So we're just saying this in front of his face? Latisha. Sir, business license, please. But business license? Uh-oh. I'm Alto. 
just a humble information broker. I've been traveling around, helping people out in my own small way. I see. So no license. I bet you don't have a fixed business location either, huh? Business location? Why would I need that? Hmm. Now show me your organizational accreditation, please. Well, I'm an honest broker of information. Always open to negotiations at the right price. I'm the all-time Intel champ with more bestseller certificates than I can count. No license? No clear business plan? You're running an illegal business. Um... Who's your supervisor? You should at least have their ID number. M my supervisor? Oh, right. She's okay. like a super big deal. She's an ancient being. Born with this planet we're living on. She's the will of the star. The reverberation of everything in this world. Are you for real? So do you even have a supervisor or not? What? <laughs> Come on. I already told you about her. Why won't you believe me? Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I know what's going on. Now, sir, you're coming with me to the patroller station. Oh, come just on, that. please. I didn't do anything illegal. I was just looking for someone. A little girl. Um, about this tall? She's the kind of stand out in any crowd. You really think I'm gonna buy that? Oh, you know, you saw her earlier. It's that girl. Yeah, exactly. Wait, how do you know? Because she's right here, probably. What's happening? It is dangerous to run like that. Here you are. Hooray. Okay, that was chaos fuck, I'm not gonna lie, but okay. I've looked everywhere for you. Back off! Leave that girl alone. Okay, she should relax, man. This patroller, she's the girl I've been looking for. Hello, little one. Is your name Encore? Do you know this person? Yes, Encore knows him. Uncle Alto sells stuff without a license. He listens in on people for commercial secrets, and he loves pulling pranks on us kids. But he's not a bad guy, really. Okay, I can hear the British accent now. In the like trailer, you couldn't really. I uh, went. Encore. Yeah. Remember our little chat? What did I say about calling me uncle in public again? I am not that old. <laughs> Miss Farina, where did you meet this girl? I ran into her near a cliff on my way home. She was eating a poisonous mushroom. I managed to make her the antidote in time. Imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there. Don't worry. Uncores have plenty of that mushroom already. But why okay. did you go to such a dangerous place alone, little Uncore? We got your back, little one. No worries. Just tell us what you know. Because... because Encore must keep an eye on her. <laughs> I guess she's lying. Uh, kids can have such oh, no, wild not. imagination sometimes. <laughs> oh, they're both from the Black Thingy Association, whatever hey, it was called. Alto. 
Why are they all giving you the side eye? Encore. Some things are better left unspoken, you know. You know, I think this is the best, like, cutscene character text thing that's happened so far, to be honest. There's, like, so Since much interesting stuff going this, on. I've got no choice but to tell you. Like, their animations, voice lines is, like, pretty good. Indeed. I like it. Indeed! We're here for business. And it's a crucial one. You want to know what it is? Let's go, Encore! Hey! Alto! Wait for me! See ya! We still have a world to save! <coughs> Wait! <laughs> okay. They still have a world to save, so yeah. We can't let him get away! I I'll go search in the residential area. Live it here to mock you, I'm not quite sure. The Valentine Retain Quality of Nicosom Century. What is this? Is he mocking us? I'll go down that way towards the patrol station. I know the streets here like the back of my hand. There is a white for a welcome hug. It brings us together, my friendship with you forever. Patience, please, and says right around the corner. Are these like fortune the cookies messages? Each missed figure are shrinking. Over there, at the end of that alley. Hmm, I see. Huh. Now you're here. Well, we weren't really running from you. We just wanted to make sure you were alone. Be good, please. Encore and Uncle Alto won't do anything bad to you. It's called the Uncle That's again. That's enough, Encore. You're freaking our precious clients out. Encore just did as Alto said. Encore is usually a good girl. Don't be scared, Rover. We just have a few questions for you. Was it your idea to have those two ladies wear those counterfeit Blake Blooms and attract our attention? I must admit, they looked quite convincing. If I was an outsider, I might mistake them for the real deal. So, you worked with a plant-type resonator. Interesting. A plant-type resonator. We happen to know someone like that too, don't we? Yeah, there are more than one of them out there. Not a big deal. So please, tell us, what do you want from the Black Shores? Yeah, just, I mean, just, I mean, uh, yeah, go for it. Tell him. Oh, really? So that lead about you is right indeed. Like what they say here in Huang Long. The straight hook is for willing fish to bite. Da, 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 da. Your efforts finally caught our attention. Surprise! The people you've been looking for are right in front of you. Now, it's so now cheesy as a piece guy, bro. Intel. I saw. have it, free of charge. Guess I'm surprised. Oh, At this point, yeah. That disappointed look. Gotta learn how to enjoy a surprise while you can. Or life gets real boring, you know? I know you must have a ton of questions for me, but one moment, please. As you already know, I'm an information broker. That means I make deals instead of passing out freebies. You want information from me? You gotta give me something in return. <laughs> Relax, Rover. We just want to make a deal with you. Come with us to an abandoned Court of Savante facility to help us recover a resonance beacon. In okay. turn, I'll tell you everything we know so far. 
if I say no? Well, if you don't take this opportunity, you'll probably never get to learn more about the Black Shores again. And since you're a first-time customer, I'm pleased to offer you an additional gift. No. Oh. Bro, that looks so out of place. That's Here, crazy. Have this. This should prove you're serious, since you already know what it represents. And if you still have doubts about us, just show it to that plant savvy young miss. She'll be able to tell. Finally. I like that he keeps resort. pointing at Ancor and she's like confused. Encore, or whatever. Do your cute face. Quick. Mm. It won't work on me. I'm dead, but I'm not, I don't know which way. Look at this poor yeah. child. Please, <laughs> facing like away. That. Oh, that's funny. Anyone have the heart to decline? The deal settled then. We'll be waiting for you near this beacon in Whining Ix's mire. And don't forget to come alone, okay? Did you find them? What? Yep. Seriously? No way. As I expected. This flower is indeed a type of remnant plant, and it contains a very unique kind of remnant energy. The concentration is much higher than usual, too. No way. Are they really from the Black Shores? Tch, not as mysterious as people make them out to be. Well, at least they're good at running. I'll give them that. What do they tell you? made the deal with them that place i only heard it's an abandoned research institution there is nothing special about it because of the dangerous weather conditions and whining ix's mire it's an ages since anyone went there don't worry yang yang we all know how strong our rover is okay rover I'll tell the Academy about this, and they'll help transmit your data from the Resonance Nexus. Then, that beacon in the whining Ix's mire should be oh. unlocked for you. There have That's been sick. frequent tacit field activities recently. If you're going there alone, please be careful. Just ring us whenever you need a hand. We'll come rushing. I mean, I have Alto and Uncle, right? Okay, I thought those, re those rewards were more crazy, but now they weren't. Hey, Rover. I've sent the coordinates of that CSC research facility to your terminal. Now that we're in the same boat, let me fill you in on what we're getting into before we dive in. The Corda Sabante is a mysterious scientific research organization. They're best known for their research in automata mechanics. But what really put them on the map isn't that. It's all the bizarre experiments they did. What's with the psychedelic black light coming from Morning Ix's mire? And is that freaky ring in the waters really the lake monster's doing? One day, a daring young scientist soared into the sky and never returned. Could this be the beginning of another diabolical plot? Alto, why are you telling bedtime stories now? Is it time to sleep already? Ahem. My bad. Old habits die hard. But the big part is coming right up. One day, out of the blue, every single Corte Savante member vanished. The last words from that mysterious researcher, the Corte Savante Committee's chairman, was this. Ahem. You want my research? You can have it! I left everything I gathered in the Corte Savante's labs. Now, you'll just have to find it. What do you think, Rover? Aren't you curious? I'm leaving now. Wait, don't go! We really do have an important mission on our hands. I suppose the Magistrate of Jinjo has already told you what we do? We've set up resonance beacons worldwide to monitor the lament collecting data in real time 
This is how we predict when the next lament is happening. As the saying goes, one miss is as good as a mile. Every single one of those resonance beacons is crucial. After the Corda Savante researchers disappeared, all of our resonance beacons near their facilities were damaged to varying degrees. Recently, something went wrong with our lament detection system, and we suspected it had something to do with a damaged beacon around the area. That's why we've been sent here, to investigate the case. While our main goal is to retrieve the lost resonance beacons, we also might find some treasures. Now you're Until chatting. Even Encore can tell what you're up to. It's called seize the opportunity while I can. <laughs> you're just too young to get it. Come on, let's go. Bruh. Act five is like I mean, it's like me. I'm playing a different game. I feel like <laughs> low key. Oh, let me get a TP, man. Oh my god. This is a place. Ugh. Those savants really love their puzzles. Don't. <laughs> no wonder. I feel like another skip. Like that's so annoying. Years. Their security is top notch. Because Alto set off the security alarm, and now the gate's closed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. we've got to figure out how to open it up again. The stare of disappointment and pain. Okay, seems easy enough. Crazy puzzle. My god. I mean, if Alto can figure out then... I don't know what he can figure out then. This is... No wonder. <laughs> Those crazy savants. They were trying to recreate the Retroact Rain. What does that mean? Never thought they could pull off something like this. Incredible. The Retroact Rain is essentially a form of condensed remnant energy from the Etheric Sea. Various events across space and time from every dimension are recorded in the form of remnant energy. The Retroact Rain conjures illusions of past events for those exposed to it. That rain curtain we saw earlier was probably the result of their experiments. Before the Retroact Rain forms, it goes through three stages. In the first stage, it looks just like any regular rain. And what we're seeing now should be the second stage. Water droplets floating in midair, being absolutely still. I've heard of plenty independent studies on the Retroact Rain. Most of the researchers were driven by their obsessions, while some wanted to relive a particular experience, and others yearned to reunite with their loved ones. But <laughs> look at all these devices here. The sheer scale of this research is really something. It really makes one wonder. What on earth were they trying to bring back of such a massive retroact train? The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. Hooray! Willie's run away! Crystal potion. Oh, wow! A game card that went out of sale decades ago. <laughs> Lucky me. Hey, Rover. How's it going on your end? Found anything good? I've collected some things, but not much. It didn't take us long to solve that puzzle mechanic. Uh, thanks for your help. Oh? Do you happen to know someone from the Court of Savante? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to making more deals with you. Why is this guy so saucy, man? I swear. So slimy. Kind of like another trader that we know.
What's up? Cut to me. Cloudy? You saw anything fun? Report it in. Cosma saw nothing. Cloudy saw nothing either. Bah. What? Go! Go look again! Is that her making those voices or is it like actually the plushies? They know that all that. Any uh chests? There's some paper. That Fraxidus overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to build this place without him. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much. Well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lad's location is a bit too remote for me. But I'm okay with it, as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah. Where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, we are embarking on a monumental endeavor with the power to redefine humanity's future. This time, we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all of humanity to behold. Cool. The experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The Artificial Retroactive Rain Project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the Whining Aix's Maya at some point. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the Artificial Retroactive Rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The Artificial Controllable Tacit Field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan. Okay, I guess we have to go into here and find like the D charger thingy. I mean, I don't think we can grab the battery out, right? subject A038 doing lately? It has yet to assume a concrete form or exhibit vocalization behavior. However, we noticed some behavioral discrepancies from our initial expectations, and further observation and research would be necessary. It's merely a replica after all. By the way, things have been mysteriously disappearing lately. Any idea? You noticed it too. Thought I was imagining things. I suspect it is something to do with subject A038. Lately, its frequencies have always displayed signs of hunger. But it's been under strict surveillance. That couldn't possibly be 8038. Right? I'll go check the security cameras once more. Let's increase its rations. We can't afford to let it go hungry. After all, it's our last hope now. Do you want to, like, the... Trying to resurrect the... What are they called? Like, something with T... Tringians or some bullshit like that, I don't remember. Is that word anywhere in here? T T T T T T T Replica God No. What? An unexpected discovery. Thanks for the chest. Power down. Last room. Alto, over. Encore spotted something. Door 
Hear my command. There's so much shit in the way. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. <laughs> the hour is upon us. Remnants <laughs> of the past. Ooh. That was the same shit as last time. Okay. I, I like how there's a refresh button. <laughs> These will be my final words. <laughs> if only I had more. You're not gonna say the last word? I thought my enemies were misconceptions. So this game passion and my own ignorance. Only in the end did I realize time is my ultimate foe. I became blindsided by my fear of death and insatiable thirst for truth, eventually derailing our research. It was too late when I finally came back to my senses. We... we had already walked into that false gate. Now, I'm leaving my last realization behind. They are our past. But they are also our future. Had I realized it sooner, there might have been a chance to get things back on track. The future being hailing from our past. Please save us once again. Please keep pushing forward until you reach the real gate that can change the world. Hello? Mamma mia. Oh, she's blurry. I was gonna say, what does she look like? Wow! She's so pretty! Rover, about this person. Heh. <laughs> Knew it. Great! Now that power's been restored, the elevator should work. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go. Man, Uncle is a great sidekick. I'm not gonna lie. She just makes everything better. Okay. Wait, what? So what elevator? I have to be bugging, right? Isn't this it? Disperse. Jump off this platform. Oh shit. Holy moly. Wow! A big clunky monster! Damn! Those savants never run out of new surprises for us. Oh, he's a subject 038. 838. coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? Looks like peace is an option. Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. I'll 
Kyoto? We doing it like we usually do? Of course. <laughs> then this <laughs> big guy is Encore's to tackle. Cosmos! Cloudy! Attack! Let me figure out its weakness. Let me figure out its... Hey, what's the big idea? Let me figure out its weakness. I see. It's cobbled together from these metal parts. You should target its joints. Use the fallen parts to counter its attacks and destroy its unstable structure. <laughs> Precipitant! <sighs> Embrace the oneness. Like this? Please attack! Da -da 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 -da. No one picks on Ungar's friends! But that didn't hurt at all! <laughs> Moment of resonance! Here we go again! Shape the Shapeless! This is so much. Leave me alone. Hopefully, this helps. Speeding up. Uh, her, Phew. Yeah. Her concerto Jump. skill is kind of. Anka is strong. Told you. To, is that it? You just have to hold it down, and a big bomb blows up, basically. Hmm. Okay. Well, there. But is that why it? Did they keep that big guy here? According to her findings earlier. Researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction of the Corda Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. But later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, they believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire, which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead. To get their desired results faster, they started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger devouring everything in its path. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect the Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually got lured into the monster's frequencies of hunger and willingly walked into its maw. The monster mm. devoured them, but not with its teeth. Their own delusions and fear were their undoing in the end. <laughs> what a crazy bunch. So, Rover, now it's time for me to fulfill my promise. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? As you already do do? know, we monitor and research the Lament. The island our headquarters are built on is in fact a massive piece of tacitite ore. This Blake Bloom is a product of that overflowing energy on the island. Our island is located in the perfect spot to accurately monitor the Lament, ensuring precise predictions. That being said, the Lament's behavior is constantly changing, and we are still studying to understand its true nature. All we could do for now as observe the lament, study its patterns, and provide early warnings to countries worldwide. What do you want to know about the black? All right, all right. No more beating around the bush. Yeah, we've had our eyes on you. But please, trust me, we don't mean anything bad. We just wanted to make sure you're a dependable ally. The Black Shores members all work together to save the world from the lament crisis. We've got talents from all walks of life including skilled hackers, explosive experts, and even feng shui masters. You name it, we have it. We like your skills and methods. So what do you say? Ready to jump on board? 
What do you want to know? As you already know, the island our this Blake Blue right. Island is that being said, all we could do for now. What do you want to know? A Camellia? Of course we do. Yeah, she can be kind of unhinged, but she's indeed one of <laughs> kind of unhinged. Yeah, that's that's one word. That's just so you adjectives know, I can use for her. She only took up this mission because of you. Quite the charmer, aren't you? So you've met her already. Nice. Save me some time introducing. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? We just received a warning from our lament detection system. Another Threnodian, Threnodian is about to revive near Jinjo City. So, we came here to inform Jinjo's magistrate about it. Yes, entire countries have been destroyed. We're not letting such tragedies happen again. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? The relation between me and the Black I'm Shores. I'm just an insignificant consultant at the Black Shores. So I don't know that much about all its hidden secrets. But I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you will make this trip worth your effort. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time, you woke up at the Black Shores. Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Threnodians and prevent the Lament Crisis. Yep! Onkar can prove it! The Threnodian is a bad, bad guy! And Onkar and Alto are the heroes of justice! So we're gonna stop the bad guys! I understand. Trust isn't something you could afford to give out that easily. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also holds the key to our headquarters. Mm. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Phew! Anyway, mission accomplished! We've got the Resonance Beacon secured, plus a sweet bonus of Corda Savante's big secrets. Glad I got you on board, Rover. Looking forward to our future collaborations. Oops, almost forgot. Gotta check the Resonance Beacon again, just in case. Wait, no! It can't be! Hey, what? Alto! Wait! What happened? Oh my god. Wait. Level 25. Let's go. Coming to low. Uh... Uh, okay. Cutscene. Encore heard lightning. When there's lightning, it's gonna rain. And when it's gonna rain, Encore should bring an umbrella. Oh, no, 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 no. Alto said when it rains like this, we hide. Part of the experiment. No, this is the Frenodian. It's the real retroact rain. Oh, Goodbye, boys. Rover, Jinjo. Jinjo is under attack. It's a TD outbreak. Holy moly. This rain, it's finally happening. GN, save us, please. Our general. General. Yes, how's it going? Yes, how's we it have going? 500 remaining soldiers prepared and medically cleared for combat. After receiving the antidote for retroact rain, they have reported minimal hallucinations and no adverse effects. However, a few veterans still reported sporadic sightings of phantoms in the rain. I see. Yes, yeah, sporadic. We will continue as planned. Report any signs of potential TD outbreaks immediately. We march on to the Norfall Barrens as soon as the rain stops. Aye, sir. Stronger Ooh. emotional connection to the affected area leads to more intense hallucinations. That's what they said. I should go for another round of inspection. Make sure everything is going as planned. Let's go. Grand War Storm. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Let's join the Riverside Games after we beat that monster. The Riverside Games? You won first place in the last armed race, remember? And don't back out now. I already counted you in. We haven't held the Riverside Games in years. This should be another illusion from the past. If everything goes well, illusion from past. Perhaps we can hold it again this year. This guy packs a serious punch. It's already so powerful in my hands. When I'm just an ordinary person. Now, if I was a resonator. Careful. Tassadite weapons are not so safe to operate. Rest assured, I'll take out those monsters before it blows up in my face. The Ministry of Development once designed a weapon for non-resonator units to combat tacit discords. As non-resonators lack the necessary forte to control the weapon, and prolonged exposure to tacitite energy posed health risks, designers limited its output for safety reasons. That's why the weapons couldn't operate at full power. After taking over as general, I revamped the Midnight Ranger's recruitment tactics. Our primary combat units now consist of resonators, with a significant decrease in non-resonator members who have been reassigned to support roles. I mean, I've, that makes sense, though. I still remember the admirable courage in those ordinary people's eyes as they volunteered to join the military. But I cannot let more unnecessary casualties happen. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's fine, I feel like. Can we really trust that medic? I do think we should be careful. Something's wrong with this rain. Hey, you see? The raindrops. They're falling up. It's the retroact rain. That day, as the rain fell, we watched in uncertainty. Unsure whether it was a sign of hope or disaster. The retroact rain should have been a harmless wave-worn phenomenon. However, the Thronodian's influence enhanced its effect. Turning that battle into a brutal slaughter. Our city could not endure another tragedy like that. Shit. The plan is simple. We will use the cliffs as a boundary to divide the battlefield into two. Our ranged units will secure the high ground while our ground forces charge through the narrow valley. Really? That doesn't sound like a good plan. We will deploy yeah, let's just rush the choke point. Where most of the tacit discords are located. Squad 2 and 3 will flank, while General Geshu leads Squad 1 to break their front line. Our goal is to shift from defense to offense and disrupt their strategies. Everything is at stake here. In a word, it's victory or death. Our strategic plan was crafted three years ago taking into account the terrain in Norfall Barrens. Its value remains crucial today, but now our enemies are even stronger than before. There could be unknown risk factors. We must devise a new plan for the current situation. Oh, frame drops. Those are the first ones in a while. General. General. We've got all equipment repaired, tactite weapons adjusted and given to the resonators. Non-resonators are also equipped and prepared for action. Why is it like echoey? But the rain's getting heavier. Should we take shelter for the time being? Is he like One dead? One combat medics claims it's no ordinary downpour, and he strongly advises holding off any moves until it clears. Though young, his sharp intuition has been proven in previous battles. You've seen it firsthand. However, I do agree this will be our last chance at organizing another attack. What's his name? Sir, his name is... Yikes. Gian. General, help, 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 please, help me. What do you make of this, Gian? Maybe you're all right. It's the other general. The rain just happened out of nowhere. It's indeed unusual, but this is our only chance. 
The enemy we've been yearning to destroy is finally right before us. And now, you're asking me to sit back and do nothing because of some phantoms. Stay silent, Giga Chad. Silence? Is this your response? Or is it fear holding your tongue? No, I see. You're no different. We fear, we bleed, we suffer, and in the end, we'll all die on the battlefield. But what about your brethren, friends, and comrades, as you witness them viciously slain before your eyes, one by one? Will you still remain silent when their souls demand an answer? There is no other choice. We must trample the pile of corpses at our feet and push on. Keep barking orders. Keep fighting until every last one of those monsters is gone. The retroact rain merely creates illusions of past events. My soldiers will not succumb to those hallucinations. I will not allow it. We'll crush anything in our path. No questions asked. And I will pave the way for us all with my forte. If tens, hundreds, thousands more of my men will die, so be it. We will win this battle by any means necessary. John, I have a question for you. What would you have done on that day if you were in my position? Whatever you say, I'll never answer those brave souls with such silence and cowardice. Hmm. Prove yourself to me, Gian. Okay, so this guy has like a really close connection to the other general. This is like like a phantom at this point. Yes. Go on. Keep fighting. Who am I fighting? Truth from facade. <laughs> Wind Rider. Shines until the last of them is wiped out. General Gersh. General Gersh Lin. What was that? Oh my god. Why did I like so many issues, man? We cherish our comrades not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. Hmm? <laughs> Is that so? As I see it. You're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop at nothing to see it through. Yeah. Giga Chad. General. All right, it's the outbreak time. General, you look pale. I'm fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon. It's gradually turning full now, as you predicted. The sky. It looks just like how it was during the battle beneath the crescent. It's time. Sir, the Midnight Rangers are ready. We await your orders. 
Attention all troops. Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, a roving traveler shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. True. Kind of late though. You know, like on the other side of the map. Here they are. Kind of awkward. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be? Hello. Oh, it's um the girl with the scar. Holy moly. Flower. Oh, that's blaze flowers. From Honkai Star. I guess he has like some special meaning. I mean, like Chinese meaning or something. Not to do with death or maybe something like that. Yeah, she's definitely orchestrating this, I'll tell you that. Spooky. Uh. Hello. Not the crownless, eh? I think. I've heard that word thrown around a couple times, crownless. Oh, we are here. Oh, shit. Fog. The moon is changing. The full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover, maybe this is the right time Madam Magistrate was talking about. Citizens of Jinjo, please remain calm and evacuate in an orderly manner as we practiced during previous drills. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our magistrate saw this coming and she had General Jian devise an emergency plan a long time ago. This wave should be over now. We knew this was okay, coming no boys? and we were ready, but oh boy, the amount of TDs is insane. Thanks for coming in time, Rover. It would have taken us much longer to handle this. Oh, Director Tao Chi is here too. For a better rundown Tao of the situation, Chi. you can find her near the city gate. I must send these supplies to our men. Okay, let me sit up. It's getting kind of serious now. Okay. You're injured. Please go get yourself patched up first. Choose as right. Please leave it to us. We'll help deliver these supplies. Ugh. Okay, thank you. Rover, Yang Yang and I need to get this stuff delivered. Director Tao Chi should be at the Northern Pass. We'll go meet you there as soon as we're done. Who's this guy? And that's all we've gathered so far. If the wounded can't be transferred... Thank you, Mr. Yuan Wu. As a citizen, it is my obligation to aid in the face of this immense danger. I'll do my best to assist. Are you all right, young miss? This is one of the largest TD outbreaks I've witnessed. There have already been quite a few casualties. It seems far from over yet. I still have some supplies with me. Please, take them. Stay safe out there. Oh, he gave me some free, a free item. Hell oh, this lesion looks bad. Please stay still. I'll heal you with my forte. Oh, Verena. Are closing up. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Farina. It's nothing. Glad I could help. Rover, are you all right? Let me heal you if you got injured. Uh, about that, you see, I didn't get Jinjo you. Jinjo is such a beautiful place. The plants here are incredibly resilient. It's heartbreaking to imagine all of them getting wiped out from this war. I still have some herbs with me, Rover. They can help your wounds heal. I hope it helps. 
Thanks. What's up? Hello, Rover. This is our temporary storage site. People have generously donated a lot of supplies. We must not disappoint them. If you have questions, talk to Director Tauchi at the nearby pass. She's in charge. Tauchi's in charge? God damn. Who's this guy? Are you still up for another fight or two? Oh, there's training the instructor. I remember this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We'll make sure those TDs leave defeated. <laughs> Good. That's the spirit. Remember what I've taught you. Safety first. Then take down as many of them as you can. Understood? Aye, sir. Where's my shelly? Okay. Oh, an Uncle Ronaldo is here. Cool. Any update on the protective barrier? The whole gang. We've put in all our resources to repair it. But if those tacit Holy touch, she's so us, big. It might not hold up for long. <laughs> she's bigger than Alto, no? Ah, I presume you must be Rover. And you are? Hmm. Maybe we've met somewhere before. God. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tao Chi, a director at the Ministry of Development. I'm in charge of our defense fortifications. Thank you for lending us a hand. It's our defense system against the Retroact Rain. It does a good job of keeping the city safe from the rain's effects. Once the protective barrier breaks down, tacit discords could manifest from inside Jinjo City. Oh shit. Rover, remember what I told you earlier? The retroact rain is essentially condensed droplets of remnant energy that fall from the etheric sea. This remnant energy makes it a magnet for tacit discords. It records events from all times and places allowing those who come in contact with it to witness illusions of past events. That's what we call the Phantoms of Retroact Rain. It kind of works like how resonators resonate with the world. The more you're exposed to the rain, the more realistic those phantoms become. In a bad way? And here's another interesting fact about the Retroact Rain. When it's raining across a large area, illusions pulled from the memories of multiple people can manifest at once. Oh shit. Nice catch, Rover. Jinjo has been a battleground for centuries. That's why it has to deal with the Thrinodian that represents a concept of war. And wars will lead to deaths. Once the Retroact Rain reaches its final stage, there will be thousands of phantoms. Phantoms of dead soldiers and tacit discords. This is the one major threat that has been looming over Jinjo. Our magistrate ordered the construction of this barrier precisely because of that. Indeed, the phantoms should only mechanically repeat what they had been doing. They shouldn't have the ability to interfere with reality. But, they do. but the retroact rain can be significantly enhanced through the Thrinodian's power. That's a good combo. As a result, said phantoms become increasingly realistic to the point of inflicting real harm on humans. In that battle three years ago, our soldiers got into a gruesome fight against countless tacit discords, either native to Norfolk Barrens or produced by retroact rain and endless swarms of phantoms. Phantoms of tacit discords and our fallen soldiers repeated their indiscriminate attacks on everything in their sight. Of course, there's some new enemies. Phantoms, great. Could not tell friends from foe. The relentless rain even recreated the brutal deaths of their comrades, etched in vivid detail. The Norfolk Barons turned into a living hell, and to this day, we can still hear the desperate cries. The battle beneath the crescent was humanity's first recorded encounter with retroact rain enhanced by Thranodian power. Your previous general sent back valuable video recordings of the rain. 
Those videos provided crucial information, which allowed nations worldwide to speed up their research on defense against the Retroact Rain. Our people on the Black Shores have theorized that the Thranodian abnormal moon sightings and the Retroact Rain may be linked. The Thranodian yeah, strength. Something like that. But it's only a theory. We don't have enough data to verify anything. So, unfortunately, we can't predict Retroact Rains yet. But we know it's closely connected with Thranodians reviving. The TD outbreaks are another sign. The moon just changed in an instant. If this theory turns out to be true, that means... And Jinjo's dealing with what happened three years ago. The Thranodians are never an independent occurrence. They could sense one another through some form of telepathic link. The revival of a Thranodian in Jinjo will trigger catastrophic events and affect other nations. We gotta hustle back to the teeth this pace, recalibrate our lament detector, and warn them before it's too late. Anyway, we'll take our leave now. Goodbye. Please stay safe. Yes, Encore. Ratauchi, bro, some crazy shit. But why do you can just That's walk? That's all we've gathered so far, Rover. The TD outbreaks won't stop before the end of this rain. We must stay alert. Mom, there's another wave of them ahead. <sighs> Speak of the devil. I'll need to take a very long nap after this. Activate the defense mechanisms! Yeah, let's go. With the sentry turret. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh Ling Yang is acting up as well. Nice. The front lines. Holy the outpost it's still under attack speeding up storm hear my command disperse one of the sounds <laughs> yeah thank you some of us are still fighting in there we must go help them Time to shine! Finally. We made it! Oh, thank you so much! It's dangerous here. Let's head back first. Yes. Whatever you say, Tauchi. Uh, please tell me this is the last one. Rover, your moves are sharp as always. Dealing with so many TDs seem like a walk in the park for you. Can't call it a without finding those monsters. Rover, did you see that? It's a more blurry now, now. It's almost identical to what we saw three years ago during the battle beneath the crescent. I'm afraid we're already running out of time. Not good. Situation, please. Madam Magistrate, the barrier has been fully repaired and we have evacuated all residents. We've successfully minimized the damage. Well done, Director Tauchi. 
How's it going on your end? Indeed. It's been a while, Rover. It's been going That's not what I said, though. Plan, if I may say so. I was made aware of this in advance and planned out our defense beforehand. I found you, eh? Now that we are facing such an emergency, I cannot sit back and wait for Jui to save us. I will act and see my duty through. This is my decision. I have secured some much-needed aid for our city during my visit to the capital. Also, our experts should be ready by now. Rover, do you still remember Dewey's message for you? Now we have raindrops that fall upstream, and the Midnight Rangers General in the Norfall Barrens, ready to take on the Overthrax. This must be the right time Jue was talking about. Rover, it's going to be dangerous. You might directly confront a Trinodian. I'm ready. Your eyes look as determined as ever. You will be remembered as a heroic ally in our defense against external threats. Regardless of the outcome of this battle. May victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Rover, I have informed border checkpoints across Jinjiao about your trip to the front line. You have been granted unlimited access to all places. Yang Yang, you're one of our outriders. I hope you can go with Rover and provide assistance. You'll need to pass through a tacit field to reach our base in the Dessa Rock Highland. Please, be careful. Rover, Yang Yang, I'll be keeping the city safe as a patroller. Do come back in one piece, okay? Hey. Jinjo Speedster. Speedster. Wow, thanks, Rover. Can't believe you still remember that title. I'll live up to it for sure. That thumbs up was cute. What's this guy thinking, man? He's gonna do something. Yeah, yeah. It seems the rain is not stopping anytime soon. Like I just shot go for no reason. What if? Rest assured, you can count on me. I will keep everyone safe. M me too. Don't forget us, Lion Dance Troop. We got this. And the army. <laughs> As you can see, everyone's ready to defend our city. Rover, Yang Yang, safe travels. I've informed General Jian that you're heading to his place. He will be meeting up with you soon. May victory prevail the lasting night. Hell yeah. Let's go. I see, so it's all like a cutscene type. I mean, it did say like, oh, long cutscene coming. I guess it makes sense. Defend the south gate. Enemy attack weakening. This wave is almost over. Finale. <sighs> Tell truth from facade. North Gate! TDs incoming! Our enemies are spent. Hold your ground! Tell truth from facade. Tacit discords nearby have been dealt with. Now the city's defense. Wait, what was he gonna say? Please update me on the situation in Jinjo City. Under Madam Magistrate's command, the barrier has been activated and citizens are being evacuated to the safe zone. Washu Academy and Ministry of Development are on standby for further instructions. 
The Baiju is overseeing operations at the Academy, while Morterfi has arrived at the Ministry. Rest assured, we are all safe in the city, and the Rover, she is heading over to meet you. Yang Yang is coming with her. I see. We have successfully contained the outbreak here at the base. I will go pick them up as soon as possible. The rain's getting heavier. There are signs of tacit discords reviving. Intense frequency fluctuations detected. They'll be passing through that area. I must create a safe passage for them. I need to clear the way for them as quickly as possible. And go on then. A couple more tacit discords here. Get rid of them. They are getting ridden off. Settled. I did just get like tossed around. That's crazy. Tell okay, the truth. Cool as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. But like. Not really at the same time. That's kind of weird. Break. Wait, but I leave the NPC alone. Yo. He's just walking. Let him walk. Fuck, he was healing. Tell truth from facade. How dare you? Is that the thundering Memphis? Who? On the other side. Trinodian's revival has done significant damage to the environment nearby. Things Ooh. have gotten even more dangerous out here. The closer we get to Norfolk Barrens, the worse it gets. Hmm. The streams feel heavy with dread and the smell of blood. There must be a brutal fight going down in the Deserok Island. The tacit field directed Tao Chi mentioned should be right up ahead. We must pass through it to reach our base and find General Jian. I wonder what other anomalies await us ahead. Is that one of our soldiers? Speeding up. The fountains contain a lot of luminous energy. These tasks of discords might be coming after it. The rain is spreading across Deserok Highland. I can feel chaos growing in the streams. We must hurry. Hi! Hi! Ha! Huh. <gasps> Serenade! Swift and resolute. Okay. No voice lines for these guys? Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess they didn't say much, but like, still. Those soldiers, more tasks of discords. Be careful. Huh. One with the sounds. Let me be your blade. Storm, hear my command. Wait, how did he get picked up? What? Anyway. Whoa, what's going on here? Are you human? I'm June. No, you're not that. Ching Yang, you. You're June. No, oh, no, no. Why have I done? Right, he shot his own boy. That's the crazy. The brain's effects are worsening. We must proceed with caution. There. Another wounded soldier. Oh, shit. You the also. Are you... Are you Yang Yang? What happened here? The Thundering Mephis. I'm... I'm part of the Deso Rock Highland Supply Transport Team. This is where our supply station is. We work to keep our soldiers alive. We were on our way. Had to go through this... Tacit field. Thundering Mephis. The rain brought it back to life. Crushing our transport. In the end... I barely escaped this place. Goodbye. Oh, now nah, look at this guy thinking he's gonna do something. What? 
my child. It's him, General. What was that? Like, come on, guys, man. Please, man. Thundering Memphis. We Hello? must bring it down to keep pushing forward. Organization. Ha! Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Ha! Oh. Well, I'm dodging though. Hello? Synchronization. Let the winds roar. Speeding up. Break. Tell truth from facade. Swift and resolute. The end has come. Finally, I hit this guy. You're wide open. Fear no All right, more. you're dead now. Finale. Let me be your blade. Deference. Swift and resolute. No one with the sounds. Jump. We did it. The thundering Mephis is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. As long as more soldiers are still dying here, it will always return. Not to mention countless souls of oh, our shit. brave soldiers that was made that trapped time. in this rain to this day. General. Sorry. I should have arrived sooner. No, you're fine. These guys have some abs and pecs, can they? Honored. Have I seen them before? Just honored to meet you. The honor is mine, Rover. Madam Magistrate and Tao Chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us. Thank you for lending us a hand. I should properly welcome you with Huang Lone's formalities, but as the current situation forbids that, I'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible. Yeah, go for it. I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. Here, <laughs> Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. Oh. While the antidote cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. What if I was a phantom then? For someone to show up as a phantom in the retroact rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the gorges of spirits only recently, and this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thernodian. Jui prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day. To reclaim your lost power from Overthrax, I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Oh, can I lost power? Yes. <gasps> yes. The magistrate might not be aware of this, as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thranodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenilune. Plenilune. Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thrinodian of War, would be reawakening soon. It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thrinodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. Any suggestion for music at my funeral? 
I'm good. Understand what we do next. Serious. We're serious around here, right? Calm in such an extreme Come on. Situation. Your composure is admirable indeed. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. This ain't no goofy uh, Honkai Star Rail. I Conversation. I take care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path okay, ahead okay. should be relatively safe now. Okay, Keep leg. going and we'll reach the base soon. <laughs> hmm. What was that? Oh, this is convenient. I'll say. Don't worry, boys. I'll say. The hour is upon us. Blam. One with the sounds. Are you good? Oh, there is someone there. Keep it together. Ouch! My help. Ofrax? Um, yo, this is kind of serious. Uncle. Cool. Overthrax is towering statue. Overthrax. Built from repurposed weapons and debris. Has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. Managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. The Vanguard base is right up ahead. Let's hurry over. Let's hurry. Oh, Chen Jin. Hello. A nice coincidence. Greetings, General. Master Tianxing? Didn't know I'd be Tian seeing you here. Jun Chin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. She has been a great help. <sighs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barons to a massive graveyard. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. Countless brave souls have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. I want to help set them free. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Thronodian, but we must beware of the tacit discords too. They have shown unpredictability in every past battle. The Academy determined they were not native to the Norfall Barons, and instead had been conjured by a mysterious power. After analyzing their behavior, I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. With looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight, it is crucial to plan our attack wisely. Please, join me in mapping out the strategic plans. Me? The crude strategy? Uh, right. I have split all combat units amnesia. into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. We have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Oh. Cool. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfall Barons. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfolk Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. 
On the other hand, mm -hmm. our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. Okay. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. So you're saying we have to push through? Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover. Let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. Am I gonna do something? First, our ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. Yeah. Okay. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? From the sides, behind the infantry, among infantry, that will charge us one. I mean, shit, we have no time. At the valley's bottom. But then what, what if they get on the cliffs? No, but I mean, we need to go in if like... Because like, if only melee units go in, then the rage guys aren't going to be able to cover anyway. So they need to be there. Mixing ranged and infantry units may seem versatile, but it wastes the advantage of ranged units. <sighs> this may not be the best strategy. What? Where should we deploy the ranged units? Oh, you jam back. Nah. Okay, behind them then. Our main battlefield will be at the valley's bottom, where space and vision are limited. Placing now they're chatting again. Behind infantry can slow their aim, making it counterproductive. This may not be the best strategy. Okay, like. Where should we deploy the ranged units? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. Okay, I guess if they have the range, range to shoot down, the then okay. It's a smart move. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan how should the infantry engage enemy targets. What do you mean just... Uh, the front? Now so they're on the, the front line, you know? Has dictated an inevitable confrontation. The infantry will attack head-on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the Special Task Force, all resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. I think Chance we could flank, no? They will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. Yeah, sure, but... What like... should the Special Task Force do? Use flank. Hmm. Yeah. Flank tactics aim to avoid direct confrontation and exploit enemy weaknesses to take them down slowly. However, our combat power could be drained by the endless enemy assaults. If we don't eliminate the Overthrax, and we can't afford to prolong engagement. Okay, I... What should the special task force do? I guess we would be prolonging it to, like, game formation, right? We just need to go, like, go through and that's it. We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. The battle plan is clear. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yuehui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. My general. Hmm. 
Yes, sir. Uh, and I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Yes. Let's do it. Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. More of military. Do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Professional? Greetings, General GN. Mm. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? Where's the power by pre lament That's energy? because this ancient disruptor dates back at least to the founding of Jinjo. Creating such a powerful weapon with limited technology back then, whoever did it was truly a genius, I must say. If we were to unleash its full power on Jinjo City, it might launch the entire place into the air. Any questions? Can we blow up In the Fredonia? we could. First, it could dodge our attack. Not even a perfect hit can kill it. Thronodians have been proven to be way stronger than we imagined. Any questions? Can we make some more disruptors? I can, but it takes time. No matter how fast I build it, Jinjo won't be able to hold out that long. Any questions? Mm. By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. The capital would want strict control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baija, please fill us in. Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for Only you. you. We just received word from our soldiers at the Not emplacement. Me. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, Yang Yang, please go and secure the disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. Jian Xin, Please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. She looks so cool, the like black and white hair. Holy moly. Let's get moving. Chanshi looks so cool, man. Oh, another long mission. Man. Oh, do I have my characters back? Yay. Looks like it. I feel like I can beat this boss. That was pretty cool. I wonder if it's gonna be like hard. Like to the point where I just die over and over again get the fuck any oh now i go one shot it oh free teleporter you don't say on a cube no i'm interested but it's fine i'll pick it up later it's main mission time come on must be Yang Yang, an outrider. General Jian sent us here to help. 
How are things going? Those monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack, but a few brave troops are still holding on. We've blocked off access to protect our base, but I'm opening it up for you. Please, they need your help. We're counting on you. Yes. I will win. What is this? Nothing. Oh, it's an elevator, I see. The tacit discords are everywhere. They've cornered a soldier. Over there. He needs our help. Why they give me their dog builds again? Synchronization. Like how is it? How are these characters doing less damage than my characters? I have like nothing on my characters. Let me be your blade. Tempest. Let the winds roar. Serenade. Hey, synchronization. Swift and resolute. Strike from the sh moment of resolution. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that. This so guy can die. I hope he's all right. Let's go check on him. General. Oh. Is that you? Yes. Just sending him. Is that so? Great. We know how important this cannon is. We kept it safe. Never let them have it. Have it? Yikes. Unlucky. This reparation. Oh, I thought he was dead. I feel that's what that said, no? Or he's gonna die now. I may not see our victory in person. But please. Please defeat that monster. For us. Thank you. Man. Yes, we will win. Please rest in peace. Unlucky. One with the sounds. Ta! Huh. Disruptor's fifty percent charge. Enemies ahead. Watch out, Rover. Synchronization. Storm, hear my command. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. Disruptors at 80%. Their offense is weakening. Hold on just a little longer, Rover. Speeding up. Hi, synchronization. Deference. Disruptors fully charged. Rover, let's take out the remaining tacit discords together. Huh. Let me be your blade. Tempest, shape the shapeless. Huh. Synchronization. Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Huh. Ha! The hour is upon us. I sense your <sighs> Let the winds roar. Ha! 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 Swift and resolute. One with the sounds. Hey, it's a big weapon time. General. Well done. The rain 
has stopped. General, the Retroact Rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. The disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire, but... But? It takes a lot of energy to fire the disruptor. If we missed... This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? As the Magistrate of Jinjo, I've obtained the approval to use the disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision, I will bear the responsibility. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle, whatever it may be. General, Rover, please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. Yes, madam. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs! costs. Well, and here it is. Time to go in. Oof, that's a lot. Nah, we'd win. Okay, I'm not gonna get distracted by exploration right now. I'm just gonna ignore that because it doesn't matter. Rocks, one o'clock. Watch out, Tacitus oh. Court's incoming. True from the side. Deference! Synchronization. the sounds we'll shake them off use your grapple now master dancing there's too many of them someone must stay behind to keep them at bay everyone let's go get away here carry on with your mission you can Oh, what? I clicked twice, and nothing came up. Yang Yang, Rover, follow me. We're going down from here. Oh Find yeah. Cliff. Man, you're gonna give me a TP. Rover, are you all right? Stay sharp. More tacit discords incoming. What just happened? The suspended ruins are ahead of us. The resonance beacon here is still functioning, and the defense feature is intact, too. We can catch our breath here. The Overthrax assault has been as brutal as expected. We've been cut off from our main forces. It's the three of us against all of them from here. Master Tianxing, I hope she's okay. I tried to contact her and our base, but nothing came back. 
The Thrinodian's power is possibly interfering with terminal signals. We have no choice but to trust them now. Let's press on. We're bound to face a vicious fight. We've reached the suspended ruins. We'll get going once you're ready. It's unusually quiet inside this wall. We should be able to pull it away with our grapple. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> For emergencies. Every path ahead has been cut off. We're not seeing anything at the moment. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. Creating a tacit discord at this level. But it won't stop us. That doesn't matter. Let the winds roar. Swift and resolute, one with the sounds. Tell truth from facade. The hour is upon us. Okay. As expected, the enemies are increasingly strong as we approach the statue. Have you been injured, Rover, Yang Yang? I'm okay, but Rover, he... Give me your hand. <laughs> Knew it. The battle has left you with a few scratches. I still have some first aid with me. Please use them. The upcoming battles will be even more dangerous. Should you get injured, you must let me know in time. Let's keep moving. Yes, General. No problem. Several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. Floating? Okay. That's kind of cool and unexpected. Nah. Oh shit. Wind Rider. Fine, we have Gian's ult. No problems. These rocks are blocking our way. We'll need to get rid of them. Finally. Rover, you hear me? Our signals got blocked off by the Thronodian's power. I have to say, your terminal has a very intriguing design. Now back to business. We are aware of your situation. Luckily, your current location is still within the disruptor's range. You've seen what the disruptor is capable of. We can turn down the output power, but I strongly advise finding cover far away. The structure of this building is almost entirely destroyed. We'll need to create a safe space where we can take cover. There is a floating platform over there. Perhaps we can make use of it. Hey, well, like, what are we going to use it for, though? No? <sighs> Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves over. Oh, oh, chest. Mortify. It's time. Understood. Oh, I see the block there. I see, I see. Uh, hold. We did it. The disruptor's power. Right, Yang Yang's voices. We can only fire it one more time. After that, it needs to recharge. Take care, everyone. I'm on standby to help you any time. <gasps> Where's the TDs? <laughs> Let's try pulling the floating boulders together. This should make our path ahead. One moment, Rover. We Wait. can work the terrain to our advantage here. Let's try to pull that wall down on them, and they'll be trapped underneath. Well done. 
<laughs> cool. Imagine if there's like something you could do like in game. Like in fight. Bonk. You're all dead. Bro, those animations are kind of something that I'm not gonna lie. Rover. Let's approach it with care. What I don't know. He's got like in the land or something? Tell truth from facade. Swift and Bro, what's happening? Can I attack? One, the sounds. Ha! One more time. Bad oh, those. Interesting. You're wide open. Settled. Tell truth from facade. Wind Rider. Blade. Ha! Let the winds roar. Synchronization. The hour uh, is yang yang No hesitate. One with the sound. It's a funny one. Tell truth from facade. I really added Yang Yang just to show you like. Oh look, if you pull for GM, the wind <laughs> DPS can be that much stronger. Uh. Oh my god, that was. Finale. I was enjoying that joke too much. I wasn't paying attention. Aaron, you're dead. So many enemies along the way. I couldn't have made it past them so fast without you. We're almost there. The statue's power is getting stronger. I can feel it. We don't have much time left. Let's move on. Drag. And drag this one. And then drag this one. Floors up there, but how are we going to climb up? Oh shit! I can see a gravity stream ahead. It's currently blocked off. We'll pull the rocks away first, then let it carry us up there. Oh, what the chest doing? Extra supplies. More supplies? No. We have almost reached the top. That giant rock. We've got to remove it somehow. It moved a little. Almost there. <sighs> we finally did it. We'll reach the top soon. Oh my god. Are we here? The road ahead is completely blocked off. You choose where the disruptor's last blast hits. Make it count, Rover. May it cleave out a path for us. Just like in it, in the center. Well, yeah, there's a hole there already. Oh, I'm dying. This amount of enemies. We cannot fire the disruptor again. Yang Yang, you. The Trinodian is only going to summon more of them as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. No. 
I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. But I think I am better suited for this task. We all want to beat the Pernodian once and for all. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind. But we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. Now that our shared goal is within hand's reach, I... I do not want to let it slip away. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. I see. Go for it. Now, Queen. Kill all of them. Please make the call. Oh boy. I'll stand guard the, here. For the disruptor. The Thrinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. I'll leave the rest to you. But like, man, her, her VA just ain't right. Like, tell me in that situation, is it gonna use that soft ass voice? Like, you're not gonna like, like be like sound more like determined or something, you know? Like, I don't know. Right there, in the shanter. Big rock. Ah, oh, Jenna's got it. It's like a tacit black it hole. The culprit is hidden deep within this statue. This will be our final battle with the Thronodian. Rover, are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Press it. Look at my shiny ass head. God damn. Ready to kick some friend R's. My R's. Do not turn back, must answer their expectations. I'm blind to say if I, I'm not nervous. Nah. Ready. That's the spirit. Hell yeah. Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. Let's go. Let's jump in the hole. The Frenodian. Okay. That's another moon. What on earth is happening? The crownless. The Thrinodian has reconstructed its frequencies. Of course. Ooh. Ooh, he looks cool. Why are you thinking you're gonna this side? Nah.
Oh, he's getting sucked in now. Is that like an egg or something? No, wait, that, he said that was the moon, right? Oh, I ain't looking like a moon now. Oh, shit. Holy evolution. Holy tentacles. That moon has Abo, what the, what the fuck? Why did my hands on my keyboard? I remember I saw it during the battle beneath the crescent. Like, you know, I saw it. I thought like he was going to do something, but like, I didn't. I acknowledge it for some reason. Retreat to advance. Bruh. Bide the time. Oh my god. Time to fight back. Hello? Can I get back up? Sounds come one with the sounds. Ha. Tell truth from facade. This is the swordsmanship we teach our new recruits. Settled. Ha. Swift and resolute. Ready for battle. Tell truth from the stone, you worry. Ha! One with the sounds. Ha! Ha! ha. Finale! One more time. I, I kind of wish I had Genji in here, I'm not gonna lie. Disperse. Uh. What? Time to fight back. What? How am I getting hit? Tell truth from facade. Huh. It's gonna touch it too much though. Bad timing. The end has come. Okay, I need to wake Strike my ass up. The what the fuck am I doing? Okay. Is that it? Oh, it's like lagging. <laughs> Watch out for its ranged attacks. Oh, I am watching Over. out. Have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our enemy. This thing is weakening. I'll shield you from its attacks. Rover, find a chance to strike its core. Well, how can I strike its cord? Bide the time. Swift and resolute. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Friendship. Grab her neck. Snap it. Oh, my sucking her. Yeah. Oh, I have wings now. Cool. Ok, 
Can I fly? Doing half of damage, gaining Umbra stacks with which attack. When Umbra is full, the robot can unleash their power of heavy attack and enter the Dark Surge state. Okay. One with the sounds. Sounds. Ah, bad Ouch. timing. Endure and defy. Ha. Ha. Finale. Tell truth from facade. Oh, that's kind of the same thing as the other old. One with the sounds. Ready for battle. Tell truth from facade. Uh. One more time. Uh. One with the sounds. Oh. Uh. <sighs> what? Truth from facade. Huh. Ah, bad timing. Break. <sighs> Bide the time. Huh. Shadow descends. Huh. One with the sounds. You're wide open. Huh. Retreat to advance. Retreat to advance. Uh huh. Unstoppable. Eh? Pretty good. Am I general? Can we suck her now? To gain her full power? Bro, her fights are so big, god damn. Okay. No, oh, phase 10. What is that? Oh, is that the thing inside of us? That's like once that's hungry all the time. As the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. 
intentionally avoiding us. What's Bro doing? Is that? A resonance. This place is collapsing. Hmm. Let's get out of here first. Big Extra chest. Supplies. Cool. Gather round. I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts, and just in time, a ray of light. <laughs> Sunbeams burst <laughs> through the clouds, was day. That's crazy. banishing darkness out of sight. From the statue emerged two. Guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. Nah. Lo, ruins fell. A colossus shattered. The Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, why fear when fate is ours to shape? Amidst setbacks, heroes will rise to conquer. Their determination fuels the fire of hope in our darkest hour. Under starlit skies, we battled, divine loon roaring above. Hmm. Now victorious, our songs of triumph shall shake the clouds. And our story goes on. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm just vibing. God damn. Bro, harass you so fat, god damn. Grand War Storm. Hell yeah. So now I'm a different rover, right? What the fuck? What just happened? How does this work? Okay, this doesn't transfer over. Increase by 30%. Okay. Now, Jinyan's character story. Oh, it's so, like... Um, are we not gonna have like any, like, well, are we not gonna have like any, like, conclusions? I mean, I guess we did, but like, yeah, we came back and everyone's happy. Huh. Cool, I mean, okay, sure. So, like, I guess I was expecting a little bit more, something different. Um... No, just a little bit more. Yeah. Northfall Barons. That's where this guy is. The boss. The weekly boss. Mm -hmm.